Okay, finally, there's one more thing I want to talk about in uh, this introduction to optimization before we finally get to the fun stuff and, uh, and get back to really working on maps. Um, and that is these special brushes right here. They're still in Dust Bowl. Uh, this brush right here, it says things like hint on it. And then on the underside, it just has, you can't, it might be, not be able to see it, but it says skip. Okay. So these are really special brushes that help you draw the vis, uh, the vis leaves in your map. So I'm going to get rid of this. No. I'm going to open up our tutorial map again. <clears throat> yeah. So I think I've been rambling, uh, but it's almost over. So let's put the funk details back on, put all the clips and stuff. Okay. So um, one way to control um, the way that your uh, your vis leaves are drawn is to use funk detail to remove sections that don't need to be drawn or uh, remove uh, brushes that uh, don't need to be taken into account during the drawing. Uh, another way to do it is to just manually set how your um, your vis leaves are drawn. So I'm gonna, let's load this portal file back up. I'm going to try to solve this um, this problem again using a different technique. If it doesn't work, um, well, then maybe I just suck at mapping. But um, I'll figure it out, and then I'll hit myself in the head. So one, the way that you can do this is to draw these um, draw these manually. So go into your texture group down here, like browse. Um, I've already got it pulled up here, but if you don't, type in tools. Um, here are your tool brushes. Double click on skip. And I'm going to draw a skip brush. I'm going to draw a big skip brush all the way to the wall. And then reaching down to the floor and up at the sky. And then bring that into existence here. And uh, in case this, um, let's see, I'm also going to, I'm going to make a big box out of this. So, here we go. Make sure that they're intersecting here at one, at, um, at one hammer, at a hammer unit's block. Um, and then just to make sure if you can't, um, that, that I, I'm showing this example correctly, I'm going to make a silly, uh, skip brush kind of in the middle here, bring that into existence. Again, make sure that this is intersecting. Um, we're going to do this because we need to make sure the faces are touching each other, not the actual brushes. For example, uh, this face needs to be touching this face, and both of those faces need to be touching this face, for example. So right now, what skip is, it, it means nothing. It means um, uh, a computer does not actually recognize a skip, a, a skip um, texture. It removes them during compilation and uh, focuses on other things. But the way that you should use skip brushes is use them in conjunction with hint brushes right here. So double click on hint brush and uh, pull up the toggle texture application tool and I'm going to put a hint, um, I'm going to apply the hint texture to outside face here, here, and then uh, either the top or the bottom of this uh, of this um, big texture, or this big brush that I put inside. And I'll put it on the bottom. So what this means is that anywhere that a hint brush is um, drawn, um, the computer is going to make a, uh, is going to outline a vis leaf, or at least cut the map where this, the hint brush is. It, it was going, we're going to get a blue line outlining this, um, where the hint brush is. It's almost as if we're making our own, um, our own vis leaf boxes. Um, so that means if, if this works correctly, I can, I can draw the, uh, I can draw the, um, the vis leaves better than the computer can. Uh, I can draw it in a way that makes sense to me as the uh, level designer than the computer, which doesn't know what I'm doing. It's just compiling, and so you sometimes need to take uh, action into your own hands. So just to, to visually show you what this is, I'm going to save it. Maybe it'll make a little bit more sense once we compile it. I'm going to compile it. 
no um, RAD. Let's see, so really fast. I'm going to reload this. Unload the portal file. Load the portal file. And now, oh, see, now you can see I have cleaned up this, um, this mess that was originally here of all of those little viz leaves um, just by choosing to draw the uh, to draw the viz, viz leaves myself and you can also see I have a new viz leaf um, right here because this is the top you can see the blue lines uh, outlining that hint brush you can see a new blue line stretching all the way from the bottom here all the way to the wall and then up and uh, that is how you draw your own. So if there's a way that you can can maybe sort of make it more efficient, for example, uh, I don't understand, like, this is a little viz leaf right here stretching all the way from here to here. We could probably get rid of that with using some hint brushes. Um, it's just something that you need to keep in mind for when you're mapping. And if you do it, if you start thinking about it early, the less work you're going to have to do um, later on um, during uh, your map's release. One last thing to keep in mind when you're drawing these uh, hint brushes and skip brushes you sh um, is that your computer will automatically, um, take a look at the 2D view here, it will automatically draw, um, it will automatically cut up your map using these blue lines on all of the these uh, brown lines and the teal lines. I think that's, well, how big is that? Uh, every, um, yeah. Every uh, 200 or every 1,024 units, it will automatically cut that section into a vis into a vis leaf section with these blue lines. Um, okay, so I know that was a, was a lot to swallow. Um, you know, again, it's very difficult to narrate something like this. I'm going to give you a link to the Interloper's uh, introduction to map map optimization. Uh, read all about it. It's basically the optimization bible um, for uh, for hammer mapping, and uh, like I said, we'll get to the fun stuff next um, next time, and I won't feel bad if you don't listen to this tutorial, but if you do, you're probably on your way to being a better mapper. Alright, so no, no running this time, uh, I'll see...